Deep root growth and increased organic matter in the soil are two key benefits. But those are only the beginning of what annual ryegrass offers growers when used as a cover crop in a corn-soybean rotation. For example, one valuable use for annual ryegrass is to help break up natural hard pan soils or soil compaction. It is a, a big benefit for the soil. Um, like Again, it uh, helps br break compaction. It'll add organic matter over the years if you keep your rotations up with uh, annual ryegrass in the fall. Keep your biology cranking through the winter months down low when it's dormant because in the spring with that root there, it gives it something to feed on and the biology come back real quick and that's what you want for the natural release of uh, your nutrients. I think after three years, one can start seeing uh, the differences. We're going to increase the organic matter in the surface. Actually planting annual ryegrass for two years, I think, will probably do as much to the soil as running a deep ripper through it as in regards to reducing or eliminating compaction in the soil. Growers are also interested in the role of annual ryegrass in holding nitrogen in the soil, especially following summer or fall manure application. Annual ryegrass is good for soil structure and also I like it because it's a nitrogen scavenger since it's taken up the, uh, the nitrates in the soil for my corn crop the following spring, releasing it throughout the growing season. The bottom line is to make us money and to have a higher yield. At a, like an 8 inch top growth we have almost 80 units of nitrogen sequestered so with your nitrogen laid out there that's just money you don't have to spend on nitrogen. It is, it's a great scavenger of nitrogen so we're able to back down our uh, nitrogen use and this year we're doing stalk nitrate test uh, we think we can even back it down more than that. Throughout the winter and spring, annual ryegrass provides ground cover for fields, helping to prevent water and wind erosion of the soil. We got started about four years ago using annual ryegrass, and the benefits we've seen so far is uh, definitely uh, helps a lot on water erosion in the winter time when we don't have any crops growing. And we think we're seeing some um, benefits from uh, the deep rooting and allowing the next crop's roots to go down deeper. Beyond erosion control, nitrogen scavenging, and general soil improvements, research indicates that using annual ryegrass helps control soybean cyst nematode. While results are promising and potentially profitable, additional research is ongoing. We did some work with, with uh, annual ryegrass in comparison with cereal rye and bare ground on cyst nematodes. And on, what we found out was is that we see a real strong suppression of the cyst nematode reproduction uh, when it's utilized as a cover crop for soybeans. So the uh, annual ryegrass is planted, soybeans are, are grown in the annual ryegrass, and when we start checking those cyst nematode populations in the fall, we, we saw huge reductions in, in populations. As a result, we were getting significant yield increases on those soybeans. Because crop management decisions will vary with soil conditions, weather patterns, and where your farm is located, especially north to south variation, growers interested in using annual ryegrass should learn as much as they can from others who've had success with the system. Anytime we add cover crops into an existing system, there is a layer of management that you have to be prepared for. It's like anything else that we would add. We want to make sure we, we have that management uh, it, in hand before we before we move into that that direction. The thing to rem remember is it's, it's not a, a one-year type program. You do it one year, use annual ryegrass, you may not see, especially depending on the weather conditions, you may not see uh, much changes. It's a long-term, same as with continuous no-till. You got to prepare the field and and you know it's about year five before you start reaping the real benefits.